everyone welcome to hopeful turns in today's video i'll be sharing with you the pattern for a very beautiful crochet geometric granny square now this is part two of the geometric granny square series that i was doing so i've already uploaded this pattern this is like a diamond outline diamond granny square and in this video i'll be showing you this diamond granny square where it is completely filled so this is the pattern that we'll be doing you can also say that this is like a square inside a square so this is part two if you want to see part one where i have uh, done this you can find the link in the description box all right now as i had mentioned in my part one series all the three granny square that we are doing uh, is actually based on the traditional or the classic granny square pattern itself it's just the colorway that brings out these geometric shapes for it okay so the pattern is like the traditional granny square pattern so let's see how to make this now before moving forward i would also add a few more i want to show you a few more things about the granny square that you're making so this granny square all the three granny square uh, in the series are four round so this is a four round granny square so i'll show you with a different color so this is a four round granny square and the same thing i had done with three round granny square the pattern is the same i have just added one more round to get the four round and the difference uh, actually comes out uh, when you join the granny squares so if you see here i have here four granny squares so these are all three round granny squares so uh, what happens is that when you go for a three round the white is the last round so when you attach the next granny square you can find that it flows continuously so you get another square here and if you keep attach attaching it there is a flow it just doesn't break so you can do it like three uh, rounds or if you want to go like four so in this the diamond or the square is completely inside uh, the square so when you attach it the white might not flow into the other one so there will be a kind of uh, blue lines coming so that will create another geometric effect so depending on what kind of geometric effect you are going uh, for you can stop at round three or round four both of them when you attach a lot of granny square together will produce uh, two different uh, geometric feel or uh, pattern to it so just play around i am going to show four round so if you want to stop at round three you can totally do that okay so yeah that's with regard to the pattern now when it comes to the uh, materials you can use any weight yarn or any uh, type yarn uh, you have at hand i have used two different colors you will need two colors um, so this is a dk weight yarn it's a hundred percent cotton yarn and with that i have used a size g or a 4 mm crochet hook now uh, when i did the part one series there was one or two comments where uh, they said that the square was folding up it was not lying flat if at all you have that problem you can increase your hook size so if my if i feel that it is folding up like a ball it is not like properly stretched out like a square instead of using a 4 mm i can go for a 4.5 or a 5 mm crochet hook it's also because of the tension uh, and the way you handle the yarn so if at all that problem occurs just go for a higher hook size okay so yeah that's it with regard to the materials now let's get into the tutorial so we'll start this pattern with a slip knot so make your slip knot first and once you have that we are going to start with five chain stitch okay so chain five one two three four five okay so here we are going to start with five chain stitch now go ahead and slip stitch into the very first chain stitch so i'm going to make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch and that will create a small circle and we'll be working in the center of the circle now instead of chain five and slip stitching you can even start with magic circle that's totally up to you okay so let's start round one so round one we are going to start with three chain stitch one two three and this three chain stitch will be treated as a double crochet now after this make two double crochet into the circle so this is one i'll put one more double crochet into the center of the circle 
So here I have put two double crochet. We have chain three. So in total we have three double crochet. And this three double crochet will be counted or treated as a cluster. So once a cluster is made, make two chain stitch and make your next cluster. So I'll I'll again put three double crochet. So this is one. This is my second double crochet. Sorry. One second. So here goes my second double crochet two and one more double crochet three okay so here I have put three double crochet into the magic circle so that completes my second cluster so for round one we have to make a total of four cluster so two are done after the second cluster make two chain stitch and make your third cluster so again I'm going to put three double crochet so this is one this is my second double crochet two and one more double crochet I'll put three all right so here I have put three double crochet so the third cluster is also done again make two chain stitch and make the fourth cluster so this is the last cluster for round one so again put three double crochet one two and three okay so here goes my fourth cluster okay so here I have put one two three four four cluster and again make two chain stitch and then you can slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain three so this is the third chain of my starting chain three I'll go ahead and slip stitch okay so that is the end of round one now if you want you can pull on this end so as to close the circle and the first little square or round one is done so we have four clusters each separated by two chain stitch now let's start round two now for round two uh, we are going to start in this corner here so we are at the first double crochet I'm going to put one slip stitch each in the next two double crochet so this is my second double crochet I'll go there and slip stitch I'll make a slip stitch on top of the third double crochet and then I'll put a slip stitch into the corner okay so here I'm at the corner and we can start round two and we're going to start round two with three chain stitch one two three and this here will be counted as a double crochet after that I'm going to put two more double crochet one and two so in total I have three double crochet or a cluster once this is made make two chain stitch again go back into the space and make three more double crochet so I'm going to make another cluster one two and three so in one corner if you see here we are going to put three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so that is the stitch that goes in the corner and we are going to repeat that in the next three corners in the chain two spaces so let's do the same thing come to this corner you will make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so one two and three so here is my three double crochet after that make two chain stitch and again put three double crochet one two and one more three so the second corner is also done I'll just show you so if you see we have completed two corners so three double crochet chain two three double crochet come to the third corner again repeat the same so you're again going to make three double crochet one two and three so this is one cluster okay after that two chain stitch and three more double crochet one two and three okay so the third corner is also finished we have the last corner to do so we'll do that so in the very last corner again make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so 
here is my first cluster I have put three double crochet make two chain stitch and make three more double crochet one two and three so all the four squares so all the four corners of the square is completed and in order to finish off round two I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch onto the third chain of my chain three and with that round two is also done just a second so if you see here this is uh, two rounds completed of our granny square now the third round we are going to introduce the color work so we'll take the blue color here and that will be introduced at this corner okay so if you see we are at okay so we are at this double crochet I'm going to put one slip stitch in the next two double crochet so a slip stitch onto the second double crochet a slip stitch for the third double crochet and we have to make a slip stitch at the corner so because we are starting the third uh, round at this corner and since we have to introduce uh, the new color we will not finish off the slip stitch so we'll start the stitch like a slip stitch so insert your hook and pull up a loop you are not pulling the last part of the slip stitch instead I'm just going to drop off the yarn okay take the new color for me this is the blue color just hold it towards the back and pull and then we can start the next round with three chain stitch one two three okay I'm going to take both the yarn ends to the front and make two more double crochets one and two so here we are starting with the corner so we are going to make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so one cluster is done make two chain stitch and again go ahead and make uh, three more double crochet so one this is my second one all right and the third double crochet I'm going to change color so I'm going to change color at the very last step of the double crochet so I'll just do that so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops only okay and then you drop the color down towards the back now take the new color or the old color the white color and complete your double crochet with that okay like this so the corner is done now with this white color I'm going to make just one cluster because this here is the corner so in the corners you'll always put three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet and in the other gaps so if you see there is a small gap here there we'll put only one cluster so with the white color yarn I'm going to make three double crochet in this space before the corner and at that time I'm going to pull the white color yarn okay and I'm going to work on top of this so make three double crochet so this is one this is my second double crochet two and when I'm doing the third double crochet I'll finish it off with my blue color so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull to the first two loops only now drop the yarn I'm going to drop whenever I'm dropping uh, the first color I'll drop towards the front and the second color will be always dropped towards the back now take the blue color and finish this off like this okay now we have reached the corner so when you reach the corner you will make you will make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so when I'm making that stitch I'll just hold it parallel like this and I'm going to make on top of this so make three double crochet one two and three so here I've made three double crochet make two chain stitch and make three more double crochet so this is my first double crochet this here is my second double crochet and when I'm going to do the very last double crochet I'm going to change color so make your third double crochet yarn over and pull through 
two loops only. Now stop and use the white color to finish this off. Now for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my yarn. So the second color will be dropped towards the back. Now pick up the next color and complete your double crochet like this. And now with the white color I'm going to make just one cluster here. And when I'm doing that I'll take the color that was dropped keep it parallel and on top of that make your next double crochet three double crochet one two and the third one we are going to change color so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both the loops now you have to drop the color so the first color will be dropped towards the front take the second color and complete your double crochet and now with this blue color we are completing we are going to do the corner stitch and while doing that the color that was dropped you just keep it parallel and work your corner stitch on top of that so here again I'm going to make three double crochet one two and three okay then make two chain stitch and make three more double crochet and the third double crochet will change color so one two and third one just yarn over and pull through first two loops only now drop the color since this is the second color i'm dropping towards the back i'll take the white color and finish this off so that completes my third corner now i have to make just one cluster in this space and when doing that I'll just keep the dropped color parallel and work on top of that and make three double crochet so this is one here is my second double crochet two and I complete my third double crochet with blue so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two loops only now drop the color this is the first color drop it towards the front take the second color and complete it all right next i'm going to do the corner stitch so keep the dropped color parallel and complete your corner stitch so here again i'm going to make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so this is three double crochet next make two chain stitch one two and again make three more double crochet so this is one this is two and in the third double crochet we are going to change our color so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pulls the first two loops okay now you have to change the color to white so this being the second color I'm going to drop it behind and then I will take the next color and finish off the uh, double crochet so when you're dropping the color you can just uh, say that the first color you'll always drop towards the front and the second color you will always drop towards the back okay so that's one way to remember that and then while stitching the cluster you'll keep the dropped color parallel now i'm just going to keep this parallel and then with the white color i'm going to make the very last cluster so i'll make three double crochet one two and the last one i'm again going to change my color so yarn over pull to the first two loops white is the first color we will drop towards the front take the blue color and finish off the double crochet all right and then i'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my starting chain three like this okay so with that our round three is also finished so if you see here this is how your cluster is now you can cut the white color yarn so the white part is done and i'll just cut my yarn here all right just take it from behind so that we can weave this in later now if you want you can uh, stop this uh, piece here this is round three where uh, which I had shown earlier if you just join four squares of this together you can make sure that 
everything is adjacent to each other so if you want you can stop at this point this is round three or you can do one more uh, round so that this diamond is completely inside your uh, square okay so that is the last part of this so i'll just show you you can stop at this point if you want to if at all you're continuing for one more round i'm starting uh with so i have to start at this corner okay so i'll make three slip stitches one each on the second and third double crochet and one slip stitch at the corner like this and we're going to start in, like we had done previously with three chain stitch make two double crochet one and two so a cluster is done then make two chain stitch and again make three more double crochet so this will be a constant in every corner you will put three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet now i'll just uh, tell you how the pattern will be for this round so if you see we have four corners in all the four corners here here and here we are going to put three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet in every other gap we'll be making only one cluster and when i say one cluster you'll put three double crochet to make a cluster so if you see here we have a gap here we have a gap here so each gap we are going to put three double crochet each and then we'll do the uh, corner stitch of three double crochet two chain stitch three double crochet again we'll put a cluster in this space a cluster in this space followed by the corner stitch and you can repeat it so i'll just start that with you so once a corner is done we have two gaps so in each of this i'm going to make a cluster or three double crochet so this is one this is two and this is three here sorry now i just want to highlight one more thing here now since we are doing this color work here if you see here there is this yarn that is going across if this is very much bothering you what you can do is instead of doing the cluster just on top of it that's totally up to you how you want it to be what you can do is you can take this up the yarn that is hanging loose you can take pull up and work three double crochet on top of that that's up to you uh, if you feel very much bothered with the yarn that is hanging loose you can pull it up and make the cluster on top of it or just keep working now come to the next space again just make a cluster so here again i am making three double crochet one two three okay so this is how it is now we have reached our corner so at the corner we'll be doing three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet and you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern so whenever there are gaps before the corners you will make three double crochet in each of it so this is my second corner one two and three all right so the second corner is done now here is my third corner where i'll put three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet before that we have two spaces here in each of these spaces we'll put three double crochet each so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern and i'll join you at the end of round four so here i have repeated the pattern making three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet in all the four rounds and in between i have put two cluster on each side so here in this side after the corner stitch you'll get two cluster here again two cluster so all the four sides will have two clusters okay so this is my very last cluster of this round once you have that all you have to do is to slip stitch onto the third chain of your chain three and you can cut your yarn off okay so with that our square is done so here you have got a diamond or a square inside a square okay so this is round four uh, for your diamond cluster now i'll just give a comparison with the other one so this is three rounds this is four rounds you can see 
a lot of difference when you add one more round to the square so this is like the square uh, the white is just at the boundary and here you have uh, completely put the square inside another square so that is the difference when you add one more square and this is highlighted even more when you join the squares so that is what i was trying to uh, tell you at the beginning so here these as i said are three rounds so since this is the very last uh, you can see that this directly joins to the next white so you can find that it is like a continuous flow of square you can keep adding more squares to it so you you'll find that it has more shape but if at all you add this one you can see that because of the last round the white will not be joined together so that is the only difference between a three round uh, diamond square and a four round diamond square. So depending on what project you are going to choose, you can try this out. Mm, you can even just join these two and make it into a pouch if you want to or any other big blanket if that is what your plan is. Okay. So yeah, that was a tutorial on how to do the crochet diamond granny square. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. I am planning to make one more video, which is like the modified version of the diamond granny square. Uh, so that will be followed after this. So when that is uploaded, I'll put the link in the description box. If you're looking for the first part that is also mentioned in the description box, you can just give that a try. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you. For